This talk is a little bit about <clears throat> I2C or I2C, and especially a uh, level shifter that we can use uh, to translate between power supply voltages. This is a uh, link to this PDF is available uh, in the link in the description, so check that out later. Our main uh, idea here is that we have a wired OR connection with our bus. This figure comes from uh, SparkFun, and uh, I really do recommend their tutorial. There's the uh, URL right there. Uh, as a nice overview of basically how I2C works, including the uh, protocol. Uh, right now, we don't really care about master and slave. Uh, this is we're looking at the electrical interface. Um, <clears throat> this is all okay if your power supply is say uh, 3.3 volts, and your power supply for the other slave for your other side of your bus is uh, is also 3.3 volts. But let's say you want to talk to a uh, 5 volt. Um, five volt powered uh, sensor device or so communicate with that it looks like that would be okay we do have some problems but uh, this line here needs to be pulled up through this uh, pull up resistor does it get pulled up to three volts does it get pulled up to five volts which one is it well we've got two options right option number one pull it up to the highest voltage and uh, that may damage the device if we pull this up to this line up to 5 volts. Uh, now we have 5 volts applied to this uh, this node. Applies this to a 3.3 volt uh, powered device and that may cause some damage. Now, some devices are meant to handle that but uh, in general that's a bad idea unless you see that it's okay explicitly called out in the data sheet. Option number two, well you could uh, pull up this node or both of these nodes to 3.3 volts except now we have 3.3 volts uh, pulled up to here except this is a 5 volt device is this a 0 or is it a 1? I don't know. All right. Sometimes uh, uh, we're told in the data sheet of this device but in general I want to pull this node all the way up to 5 so that there's no ambiguity whether uh, this is a 0 or a 1. Yes, I know that 3.3 is above 2.5, but uh, did you read the data sheet uh, for this device? What is the logic levels and what are those thresholds? If you're just guessing, uh, you're not doing engineering. Alright, so we have this situation. These are requirements. Two requirements for, an, uh, for I2C. Any device must be able to pull the bus down to zero. Uh, that's really easy. Any of these uh, MOSFETs that are turned on can do that. You switch this on, it becomes uh, essentially a short circuit or a switch, pulls that bus down to zero. Either side can do this, uh, irrespective of the higher power supply. The trick here is when it's a one, the bus is idle, or we want to indicate a logic one, we need to pull up to its own power supply. How do we do that? All right, we'll flip the page here. Take a look. Uh, it's possible to do that with a circuit that looks like this. Way back in the day, uh, application note uh, 97055 from Philips came up with this. So this is where I uh, found it from. Uh, Philips is uh, really no more. It's uh, NXP, and their application note is uh, 10441 from NXP is uh, really the same document uh, in history. I really uh, in, like reading this one, uh, the old version, better. It has a little bit better uh, description and, and content. Okay, so we have this. Is it possible to do this? Certainly it is. What we're going to do is we're going to analyze and see how this actually works. All right, right now, uh, in the state that we're going to assume, we're going to assume that both devices are off. These are in-channel MOSFETs. Our input voltage to the gate here is zero, so this is off. Same thing for here. Our gate voltage on this MOSFET is off. And you see that we're using 5 volt power supply and 3.3 volt. It's really uh, doesn't matter as long as they're different. And for the description that I'm doing, the low voltage side is on the left. That makes a difference which way this MOSFET goes. And by the way, <clears throat> it makes a difference. All right, so we're going to analyze this situation. We know that if this MOSFET is off, there's no current going into the drain. 
no drain current here. I know this is 5 volts. This is 3.3 uh, volts. That also means the gate is 3.3 volts. All right, so KCL says there's no current this way. I don't know the drain current right now. We can take a guess, but I don't know exactly. One thing I do know when I do Kirchhoff's current law at this node is that cur this current is going to be uh, zero. One way we can see that this is zero is one uh, I call this the Gandalf diode. Gandalf says, you shall not pass. No current going that way. And also we're going to have this junction reverse biased. Uh, you can see that we've got 5 volts here and 3.3 volts here. These pull-up resistors, uh, the cathode is going to be at a higher potential. All right, so this is still a question mark. We, needed, we would like to know what this current is. That gets us the SDA bus, uh, the node on the right side. Same thing over here. I don't know what this current, or this current is zero. Of course, there's no current this way. It's just a connection. Current this way. Well, if we look this way, can current flow through this diode that way? Well, yeah. But uh, we already said that the current flowing to the uh, left through this diode was zero. So we might say this arrow, or in both, both directions, or opposite directions, you could say it's minus zero. Yes, current can flow that direction in the diode, but in this situation, this side is probably going to be higher potential. So, no current uh, flowing that way. All right, uh, for the purposes of, of this, I'm going to say that uh, for the rest of this handout, our threshold for this NMOS is uh, 2 volts, which is going to help us, uh, help us out here. I look at this. 3.3 volts, there's no uh, no current this way, no current this way. The only place that current could go then is uh, this way, and we see that that's opposite of the drain current, or source current on this side. They're going opposite directions, and we know that current's not going to be going up through this. Otherwise, we would have, by Ohm's law, a voltage on the low side of this SDA bus that was larger than 3.3 volts, which is the power supply for this circuit, so it's not going to happen. All of that said, we get zero current. Zero current here. This current is therefore zero by KCL. And if there's no current here, we have 3.3 volts. And then on this side, there's no current through this resistor. Ohm's law tells us it's 5 volts. Here's where we look at something interesting. Well, not interesting. Here's the uh, gate voltage, the source voltage. V gate to source is zero. There is no channel on the left side. Look over here, gate is 3.3, drain is 5. Uh, we definitely have no channel here. That means uh, this transistor is off. And we're done. All right, so SDA is 5 volts over here. This one is 3.3. All right, the next thing, we're going to take this state. Then we're going to turn on... The 3.3 volt device drives the left SDA segment low. What happens is now we're going to drive our gate voltage high. We're going to turn this one on, either triode or saturation mode. And eventually uh, we're going to have some current that flows. But really, uh, we'll just say that this is a really nice MOSFET, and we'll say that this is about zero volts. Okay. This is a nice switch and it's on. We're going to pull this down. That means this is about zero volts, this known voltage. And we have, I don't know if I'm consistent with my colors here. I'll use uh, green for, uh, for currents. We do have 3.3 on this side, zero volts here. We do have current that flows that way through this pull-up resistor. And as long as this MOSFET can handle that current, we're, uh, we're okay. Remember, this voltage here is still 3.3. It's just tied directly to the low voltage power supply. This node is zero. We have uh, three to here, 3.3 minus zero for our gate to source voltage. Remember, our uh, threshold voltage was two volts. So our channel uh, is a mess of colors. Uh, Yes, we do have a channel on the left side. 
let's look at what happens on the right side. Well, we do know we're going to have drain current flowing that way. This right side is going to be uh, 5. Okay, we have current coming this way. It's going to go this way. Remember, this one is still off. Current flows here, drain current, drain current would flow here, and we get uh, extra current going this way. What is this voltage on the right side? It's going to be turned on. This is going to go down. This node voltage is going to start high, and then it's going to go down to zero uh, volts in time. So I'll say that this node is also zero volts on the right side. If we have zero here, we have zero here, drain to source voltage is uh, clearly zero. And we do uh, have a channel on the right side, on the drain side. This MOSFET is in triode mode. Okay, this is also zero volts, and, uh, and we're done.